Elon becoming the chief twit. His words, not mine. (laughs) (laughs) What are your thoughts on this? I mean, I'm worried about it being a distraction for sure, but it is now official. Elon now officially owns Twitter. They've already filed with the SEC. They are going to be delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. They are going to be going private. There's been all kinds of rumors and things, some of which seem to be fairly accurate and true, and some of which are people you know, going for news headlines. But apparently, Tesla engineers have been going through the Twitter office uh, or at the Twitter office going through source code. He's already been firing, you know, fired a number of executives. Uh, he's possibly laying off a ton of employees um for various reasons so what are your thoughts here on this mike what do you what do you think chief twit that sums it up it's 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 going to be a huge distraction i mean the the man's got enough on his plate without dealing with that i think ultimately he'll kill twitter he'll he'll try to run twitter the way he runs tesla and i don't think it's going to work out in the end well i I did think it was funny that it came out Jack Dorsey, you know, the, the one of the founders of Twitter. He's got another social he's got network. A competitor. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a competitor, a, he got a competitor in the wings up. ready to go. And I'm like, man, I like because he was involved with Elon and making the decision and like going along with this. And I'm like, is he like using this as like a way to pump up a new company that he started? I don't know. It's, it's a great unique. way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Elon I, free zone right here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't say I'm a, a fan. I I think, you know, Elon is a smart guy. Uh, I, I'd say more than anything, he's ambitious and he Absolutely. You know, will focus on a problem. Whether or not he's an expert, uh, he will, you know, perhaps study to become one. I, I feel like this is one of those spaces where he probably thinks he knows more than he does, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, don't we all we've been running TNT <laughs> for some years now and uh you know content moderation is not easy and and having a an environment where you know people can uh discuss things without screaming at each other but you know if you you know you have to have rules uh and at least the way he's talked about it beforehand uh as long as it's not illegal you know you can say things that's very naive <laughs> you sure. know and he has changed his tune a bit recently, you know, to not scare off investors, you know, saying, okay, it can't be just some hellscape <laughs> where you can say anything. But supposedly after he took over, you know, the sort of, uh, you know, bad actors sort of increased, or at least people felt that they could, you know, make racial slurs and, and whatnot. Um, so I don't know. I, I just, I do prefer him not to even be bothering with this. Uh, I kind of feel like kind of, uh, you know, tricked himself into buying this company and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, based on just, you know, chatter and, uh, yeah. and tweets of his own tweets. And it is his platform by which he, you know, communicates with people, you know, so right. I guess he, you know, he, feels, he certainly doesn't want to ruin it. He has all the best intentions to make it better. And he, he certainly and, invested in it. And he's very much invested in it. He was, you know, he was the single largest shareholder for four. Yep. I don't know if he still is. I mean, they're going private. So there were other investors. He pulled in money from VCs and other stuff. So I don't know where it's going to end up, but, um, well, but certainly not, not just invested in money, but certainly invested in his time as well. Right. Uh, and, and his you know, reputation. He spends a lot of time trying to be funny. But um, and but, uh, okay, he's got he's got investors. That's great. But those investors are going to expect a return. You've got the current client base bailing out because they don't want to run ads on his pla- on his platform anymore. That's true. So this this was a fun news point. GM is yeah. no longer they advertising on Ara. Twitter. Um. So yeah, he's gonna definitely there's going to be some of that, but I think they're definitely. Uh, I will say this. Elon knows way more about the internal workings of Twitter than any of us being he's actually there, has seen the internal numbers. He's seen the things from the outside, though, when I look at it as an engineer, I think Twitter as a technology is incredibly impressive. It's very difficult to build and scale and all of that. However, I look at it and go, I'm sorry, they have seventy five hundred people at that company. (laughs) That sounds like the biggest wasteful organization I've ever seen. Like, I, I can't. Even with how impressive it is of what they've done, what I can't imagine seventy five hundred people you needing to work towards to it. Be? From your point of view, what from my point of view, it? something like Twitter, I would say at most you need two to three hundred engineers. 
Um, I would expect maybe a thousand people most at most for the company, if you include every form of support and other kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, a few hundred to a thousand. I can't like, what are 7,500 people plus doing? Yeah, I, I don't get it myself. I mean, I could imagine that many if they were working on new things. I don't know what they're working on. I, they certainly yeah. don't have much to show for it. They um, shut down Vine. They shut down their third party APIs. They're not support. Like there's a ton of things they're not doing anymore. Yeah. I don't know what all those folks are doing. Like, and they, and they could be they could be ruling video. Uh, they acquired Vine. They had their own sort of video thing, and it didn't work out for them, and so they killed it. Okay, then what are you doing? <laughs> where's Where's all that? <laughs> where, where are you going now? Going. So, so I, you know, Elon thinks he can make it more profitable than it is now. Sure. Uh, certainly in the short term, that can't be hard to do, right? Most companies, you can make them more profitable in the short term. Uh, yeah. you just fire half the staff and then it falls apart in you know, right. Six in a, months later. two years, yeah. but like, so in the short term, I think he'll be able to make it more profitable. Who knows where it ends up going in the long run, but yeah, it's definitely a distraction. Hey, I think he can make it, um, you know, his, he maintains a startup culture, you know? Uh, and so, you know, Twitter is probably, it's been around for a while. They're probably on their laurels. Uh, you know, <laughs> I've been to the, uh, headquarters. It's very nice. But it just it just feels very relaxed there. Um, right. So I, I certainly is probably going to light a, a fire under their butts uh, and make some people uncomfortable in the process. You know, which may make it a not a nice place to work. But it actually that may be more exciting for some people. Um, right. So yeah, there are some people that enjoy that work environment clearly. So they'll probably lose a bunch of people. They probably gain new people. Although at this point, he's basically going to com be competing with his own resources right because tesla and twitter are probably going to want similar skill sets in their engineering departments at least on the software side <laughs> certainly whereas like spacex software is very different from tesla software at least i would imagine so anyway it's, it's going to be interesting to see uh where where things go it's an interesting problem kind of not that interesting to me i you know yeah. if it was up to me i'd, I'd rather you know he since he is very involved and he does kind of micromanage, I would prefer he were, you know, FSD, Starship. You know, these are things that I want to I want to see done. I don't see solving social media as really changing the world. <laughs> you know, he's, he's going to have to install someone at some point, right? Like, like for example, it, it, again, I could be completely wrong, but what I understand from the people I've talked with that work at these companies and what I've read. Elon doesn't really do much day to day with Star, uh, SpaceX. SpaceX is run by a COO. She does all the day to day. She really drives the company. Yes, Gwen, he was involved Gwen in Shotwell. the early days. So, sorry, Gwen Shotwell. Yes, Gwen Shotwell. Exactly. So she, so he did the early day stuff for sure. He was very involved. Then when Tesla was getting crazy, he's very involved in Tesla. He doesn't really do that much day to day for SpaceX. He spends, I mean, he might spend an hour or two, right, like reviewing or going over things, but. COO runs the day to day. Uh, Tesla is really his baby. That's where he spends most of his time. If he's now splitting his time between, like, he's going to have to do something, right? He's going to have to get somebody for Tesla or he's going to have to eventually get somebody for Twitter. Um, but yeah, it would be nice if we can focus on FSD improvements. Yes, um, please. And, and see where that goes. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, Elon's happy with this decision uh, that he was sort of forced into. Um, but at one point, it was his decision. So.